Welcome back. So if you're in the market for a new fireplace that doesn't burn wood or that doesn't have water vapor as a flame or an electric fireplace, this bioethanol burning fireplace could be for you. So stay tuned and let's check out how to install a dual burner Ignis Beliza ventless fireplace. I did want to point one quick note this is the stainless steel version. We just painted it with high temp black paint. At the time that we purchased this fireplace, they did not have the flat black option available. So like I said, we decided just to go ahead and paint it. But this unit, which is stainless, was 525 and the black one was around 650 to $700. Now, please remember we are dealing with fire, flame, heat. So they do want you to bake this all out of non-combustible material. It calls for at least using metal studs on as, as your frame or cement board, concrete board uh, as your casing on the inside. And that's what I chose to do. And then I also put some thin set or mortar uh, along all the joints. And of course I have tile on the outside here. So everything is pretty much flame proof um, it, it is in a metal containment as well, so I'm not overly concerned about flames ever touching or getting too hot any wood surfaces like the mantle and such. So this ventless fireplace is super easy to install. It just depends if you want to install it on the outside of a wall or on the inside of a wall. I built my own structure here, so it's inset into a wall. And it comes with seven easy instructions. And the first kind of instruction wants you to build a box on the inside. And it gives you a criteria of what you want to follow. So it wants it to be seven, uh, 37 and 3 quarter wide, 20 inches tall, 6 and 3 eighths of depth. And then um, this support bracket back here, they want 4 and a half inches from the top down. So when you take your measurements, you wanna do it on the finished side. So I put concrete board on the inside. So that's the depth that you want. So this has to be 37 and three quarter from concrete to concrete. And these are each a half inch in thickness. So really it's 38 and three quarter. So once you get all of that figured out, the next crucial step is to make sure that you have the proper depth. And like I said before, it's six and three eighths. Now that's from the concrete to the finished wall of your fireplace. So for instance, these tiles are three eighths of an inch thick. I have about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch of thin set. And then here's the concrete board right here. So from here to the outside, you want it to be six and three eighths of an inch. Reason being is that when you put the fireplace onto this support bracket here, it will stick out about a half inch. So if you don't follow those exact dimensions, you're either be sticking out too far or it'll be in too far where it won't even hook onto the mounting brackets. And they do leave you about a half inch of a gap so that heat from the back side that's generated will come up and flow along the surface of your fireplace wall. So we got our dimensions figured out. Now let's talk about the mounting bracket. Like I said, once you get your length, height, depth figured out, there is a measurement for four and a half inches from the top of your concrete board here to the support bracket. So it wants it to be four and a half inches so I go like this, and I do have four and a half inches, and then just center it inside of your opening. And that's what this mark is right here, center. So as you can tell, the support bracket has this nub here, and then this nub here, and it's slotted on the left sides. So when we go to lift this, comp, this fireplace in, the, in here, you're gonna stick it inside of the hole, and then you're gonna just lock it into place by moving it to the right. And this is easily done with one person, no issue. Um, so let's go ahead and install this fireplace and then we'll go to the next step. So real quick before we put the fireplace in, I wanna show you the back side of the fireplace. 
just to show you where those two nubs will go into on the back support. So as you see, here's the one, and then here's the next one. So when you go to install this, you're gonna go from the left of the fireplace, and then you're gonna lock it to the right. And then there's a bottom support bracket here, just so it sits off of the back of the wall. So like I said, you can use one person to install the fireplace into the hole here. Uh, very simple, just grab in the middle here, lift up, and then you have to just kind of feel for it to go inside of those holes. And then once it's in, just slide to the right. And now the fireplace is completely installed on that support rack. Now that we have the fireplace installed on the wall, the next thing to do is take our burners. This model has two burners. There are models that are smaller that have just one burner. Just take these model, these burners, and this is just a plate that's used to extinguish the flame. Uh, bigger flame, lower flame. So you wanna have the opening towards you. So we'll just take this and we'll drop it in. second one, drop that in, then lastly, it comes with a piece of glass right here, and that's where these two silver pieces come into play, we'll drop this down, and now the fireplace is completely installed. This is a piece of metal that they used to close the burners or open it. And then it also comes with a small funnel where you can pour the ethanol into. Okay, so here's the fuel that we're using. It's bioethanol fireplace fuel. It's by the company that does this fireplace, Ignis. And this is a one quart bottle, and I believe we got it for around $10. If you buy a 12 pack, it's obviously cheaper. But now we're gonna dump it into the fireplace. Okay, so we're gonna use the funnel that they gave us, and we're gonna pour in. Um, it seems to take about one quart for each burner. It could probably take a quart and a half. I'm just gonna do a quart because there is um, like a filter paper behind here or a wick that soaks up a lot of this um, ethanol. So we'll just go like this, pour it in, and it's that simple. Now one thing that they do tell you in the instructions uh, for safety is that um, if you need to put in more ethanol, wait at least 10 to 15 minutes or the, until the fire is completely extinguished and there's no heat. If not, uh, it could ignite and could possibly burn you and you don't want that to happen. So, that would not be good. But also, I do believe that uh, depending on the flame, so if you have this at full open, um, it might last four to six hours, but if you have it almost closed, it could possibly last you eight to nine hours of burn time. So, and it seems like there goes one quart. All right, so now the next step I think is just to light this fireplace off. So real quick before I go to light this off, there are log sets and stone sets that you can buy for roughly 40 to 50 bucks. Um, for this system. These are ceramic, so they are fireproof, they're super light, and you can set these um, around the fire however you like. I'm just gonna do a few around here. We're one short, they're gonna send it to us uh, once they get it in. Now, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna cover these slides up, so make sure these slides have enough room to still operate. Like I said, we're gonna get one more set in, and then we can really fill it up and make it look really cool. So 
let's do that for now. Okay, so now since that's done, it just says to go ahead and light her off. And it says that the flame's gonna burn pretty low at first, but then after about 15 minutes, the flame should get um, a lot taller and then we can adjust it by closing that middle screen. It's been five minutes now since I lit off these burners, and as you can tell, we're getting a good medium to a high flame on this. If I want to, I can just close those metal pieces up uh, to shorten the flame. But as you can see, 10, 15 minutes of installation time. Obviously, it took longer because I had to build the box and tile it. But once you get to this point, it is honestly about 10 minutes uh, to install this fireplace and have it uh, running. I want to appreciate and thank you for watching the video. Like the channel, subscribe if you want, leave me a comment, any questions, I'll answer them as fast as I possibly can. And then make sure you check out the other videos that I have. I have a video that I just did about uh, this mantle that is a, uh, it slides out, has a hidden compartment, so make sure you check it out. But again, thanks for watching.